whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab. The second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Here's Florida now after the touchdown. Back out to kick it off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Clemson now with a first and 10. Going to hand to Jewel. And he's not going anywhere to start the night. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiple. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Henry out of the pistol. And he's got room. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Playing things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Forced out to his left. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they are on the board but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's got his man here, Beasley. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That's a fun one to watch right there. Nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. 
Buying time to his left. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Back to throw here. A bullet throw, but incomplete. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. But when you do call quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able to surge forward and pick up the first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Slant route to Miller. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second and one. Eluding the pressure right. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Well, we know how important it is, Charles, to have a quarterback who can take off and run with it when need be. This is a great job right here. And he just exhibited what he's shown throughout. And he is in. Touchdown, Gators. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group, seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that is...